So Dread. Dread is the best. So Dread, again, only tells one kind of story, the survival horror story. Good thing that's a really common story. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone wants to play a zombie game, a Cthulhu game. That's the thing lately. Sigourney Weaver alien game. Awesome, right? Any game where, you know, any kind of, you know, uh, Blair Witch Project, anything yep. like that. Anything where it's haunted and people are dying, right? People are getting killed off throughout the story. Dread is your way to go. But they're being killed off one by one. Yeah. So, you know, whenever you go to see a survival horror story, like, well, you can stick with Alien, right? I think that's probably right. It always has the same pattern to the storytelling, right? Everything's kind of chill. Something scary is going on. Tension builds, tension builds. Someone dies, tension levels off. Tension builds again, tension builds again, and it was just a cat. And the tension builds again. Oh, yep, they, someone got eaten. Yep, yep, yep. All right, you just keep going like that until usually there's one and or zero people left, and then the end. Right? So Dread does exactly that game and only that game. How does it do it? With a Jenga tower. No dice. No dice. No card. Think about it. A Jenga tower. Tension builds. Tension builds. Tension builds. It falls down. So Scott, I want to kick in the door. I hear that girl screaming on the other side. All right, give me two pulls. Whatever. Ba-bam, ba-bam. You kick in the door. What's in there? I find the girl, and I rescue her, and we, we board it up behind me. Okay, you, uh, you want to, the zombies are now bashing on uh, the, uh, the door that you walled up. All right, I try to fortify the door with the stuff from the fireplace. Uh, you're going to need three pulls. There's not much in that fireplace. Now look at this Jenga. Now, you play Jenga. Over time, it gets more and more rickety. Tension is building and building and building. In the beginning of the game, I pull out a shotgun and kill all the zombies I see, and it's easy. Yeah, it's like, oh, game, yeah, I killed the zombie. Yeah, just keep killing it. At the end of the game, it's like, start the car. One pull. And I'm looking at this thing like... <laughs> Does if I choose to... not to pull, I fail at what I want to do. Right, so for example, it's like, oh, you're, you're not going to pull to start the car? No, okay, car doesn't start. Zombies are now surrounding the car. You're trapped inside. Now what? Yeah, not to look so good for him, John. Here. Yeah, you should say yes next time I ask you to pull. If you knock it over, and this is a clue... <laughs> I don't think finger is what they were thinking. I know. <laughs> if you knock it over, the book says, and I quote, your character dies in the most horrific, scene appropriate way possible. And then you get a snack because everyone else is going to keep playing. Yep. It happens. Now, at the same time, you can look at that tower, look at the GM square in the face, and smash it. Yeah, I mean, you look at this thing, it's so wobbly, and I ask you for two pulls. You know you can't make the two pulls, right? And you know it's just going to get worse. Yeah, now zombies are piled up in the car so high the suspension breaks. It's like... If you smash it, you succeed in the most glorious way possible, comma, and then die in the most horrific, <laughs> inappropriate way possible. <laughs> That's the whole game. That's, I mean, there's a character creation, which is like a questionnaire system where the GM basically writes questions and you answer them, and those answers are your character. And the GM can sort of make leading questions, like, oh, uh, you know, what happened to your lover last, se last season, right? So now you get to make up all this stuff about a lover. And it, you're, you're sort of open, but you're also restricted. You can come up with some clever ways of doing unexpected things, yeah. But it's mostly the Jenga Tower. Best game. We've got role playing where there isn't really a game. Now, we know we're talking about that. That is what this panel is about. That I is, had hair. That is our gaming group. It's a bunch of people in their pajamas, sitting around a table, funny shaped dice, uh, nachos, everything. So, we're talking about this, but the word role playing game covers so many different things that we really need to define the term. 